Is it time to worry for the Ravens? Derek Carr and the Saints humiliate the Cowboys in Jerry's world. All that and more as I recap the 10 games from the noon slate today. Justin Jefferson and Sam Darnold connected for a 97-yard touchdown backed up in their own end zone. Jefferson, four receptions for 133 yards. And for the second straight year, the Vikings are going to beat the San Francisco 49ers. And this Vikings team just looks more complete. Would Kevin O'Connell doing what he has with that offense and Sam Darnold looks great so so far and Brian Flores taking advantage of the new personnel they have on defense. It looks like a complete team in Minnesota and they're the early front runner for the surprise team of the year. Alvin Kamara scored four touchdowns. Derek Carr has been absolutely cooking as the Saints nearly dropped 50 on the Panthers week one. You could say oh but that's the Panthers. Well they nearly did it on the road in Jerry's world again where the Cowboys came into this game with a 16 game winning streak on their home turf and for the Cowboys they had an impressive road win against the Browns. Maybe they could have overlooked the Saints in this game or the Saints could just be another surprise team like the Vikings where they might just be a lot better than people expect but still to be at home and lose by 25 points that's going to get a lot of people talking and doubting the Dallas Cowboys. Jaden Daniels picks up his first NFL win as in a 21 to 18 win. Austin Seifert the new commander's kicker was 7 for 7 on field goals and that's all the points they needed in this one. J.K. Dobbins continues to look great and it's just awesome that he's healthy and playing in this Jim Harbaugh system as they're going to win 26 to 3 and for the Panthers maybe you were hoping it was just really bad last week against the Saints but it doesn't look any better this week as they lose 26 to 3 in their home opener the Chargers at least you could take away a few positives but for the Panthers it is not looking any better might even look worse this year Malik Willis is going to pick up a win in his Green Bay Packers debut as that's his first NFL career passing touchdown Aaron Rodgers has never started 0-2 in his career, and this game was tied late, but Braylon Allen, the rookie running back from Wisconsin, he had a couple touchdowns today, and Aaron Rodgers is going to lead this Jets team to a 1-1 one one record now. The 49ers destroyed them on Monday Night Football, and this game was tight, but Will Levis made some crucial mistakes for a second straight week. The Titans are going to fall to 0-2, and the Jets could be getting back on track. The Buccaneers are going to go to Detroit, where they eliminated them last year in the postseason, and they're going to pull out a win as they were over touchdown underdogs in this game so a very impressive win for them the Browns are going to have a nice response on the road as they're going to beat the Jaguars their defense traveled today and for the Jags they should have won in Miami but they didn't now they're 0-2 in a hole already Jason Myers is going to kick a game winning field goal the Seahawks are 2-0 the Patriots continue to show that they're not going to roll over this year Daniel Carlson hits a field goal with less than 30 seconds remaining so the Raiders are going to win and it's going to be the Ravens home opener they're losing as the biggest favorite of the day the reigning MVP and the reigning one seed Lamar Jackson and the Ravens are now 0-2 to start this season you know the AFC is very tough especially the North so it's not like you're going to get into the playoffs with a record around 500 so are you guys worried about Lamar and the Ravens early as this is a shocking loss in your double digit favorites to the Raiders that was the best of the 10 game slate at noon